Hello everybody, good morning. I didn't speak to you yesterday, but we can always catch up. What I like about the word of God is that we're given instruction to, to speak it anytime. So today I'm going to be speaking the word with my daughter doing my hair. And she wants to do the same hairstyle. She my sister looks tasty, but you know. Uh, so she wants to for us to do the hair together. Anyway, so chapter 38, Genesis chapter 38, Judah and Tamar. There's a story um, that takes place there where um, uh, a lady called Tamar is married into this family and these brothers keep dying and dying. And then the other ones are, are not honoring God by throwing their seed on the ground. But I don't want to really take that from the, the carnal perspective of the, the marriage side of things. But I'm talking about the word of God. How many times, because the word of God, we are told in Matthew chapter 13 that it is the seed, right? So how many times have you spilled down the seed that God has given you? Okay, let me ask you, do you even remember the preaching from Sunday? Do you remember it? What did your pastor preach about? What have you done with that word? Have you shared it with somebody else? So these boys keep spilling seed instead of causing it to multiply. Are you causing the word of God to multiply by sharing it with others? Are you um, actually even allowing it to multiply within you? Are you allowing it to multiply in your family? Are you sharing the word? Or because... Uh, you are discussing this and that that's happening in the social circles, but you don't take time to sit and speak the word. So God punishes these guys by by allowing them to die, by killing them because they were spilling seed. And this man tries to cheat and whatever, whatever and this woman knows that oh, I need to get that seed and she, she makes my plan. So if you have got people who go to church, but when you go to church, you know, let me actually lash out on this one. Some of you even leave somebody who works with you, please remain behind taking care of the house or your neighbor who is not a believer. You leave a non-believer to take care of your house while you are going to church and you, you are actually happy about that. I want you to know you are spilling seed. You are spilling seed and God is not pleased with people that build, spill seed. So this is the end of the hairstyle and I think also the end of the video. What better? Yes, Even my trilingual daughter. Yes, <laughs> finish. So, all right, thank you. See you on the next one when I talk to you about chapter 39.